stakeholders have called for uh, demystifying intra-country trade and also uh, maximizing opportunities within Niger borders and untapped local and regional markets as part of measures to unlock new avenues for growth and sources for businesses across the African continent. The stakeholders made this call at the Science of Trade conference held in Lagos. The conference, which seeks to empower African entrepreneurs to conquer the complexities of local and international trade, provided comprehensive training on export readiness, trade facilitation, digital trade, e-commerce and the utilization of trade policies. The forum also delved into inside the exciting opportunities presented by the African Growth Opportunity Act and also the African Continent of Free Trade Area. So the idea of putting science together, um, science of trade um, together is so that we can start to decongest the complexities of trade because it can be simple. But because there are bogus, um, you know, bogus language of explaining um, how it goes, or people going on websites to download information, and for some people it's not really straightforward. So what we've done is to um, bring experts together from different um, parts of the ecosystem, of the trade ecosystem, and see how they can decongest everything for us and simplify it. Simplification is the most important one. And also, um, it is not just the speakers that we have as part of this ecosystem, as you know. We also have the market, the people who are controlling the market. Essentially making trade more understandable to more entrepreneurs. There's such an extraordinary entrepreneurial spirit across this country in Nigeria. And we want to tap into that entrepreneurial spirit to share prosperity for more jobs, for more prosperity for Americans and for Nigerians. And so what, what the science of trade does is it brings entrepreneurs closer to the actual what it, what is required uh, to trade internationally for example how can entrepreneurs understand how to trade with the United States through the African Growth and Opportunity Act for example AGOA is the tool that we have to provide more entrepreneurs with more benefits to access U.S. markets. Uh, and so what the science of trade is seeking to do is to bring those entrepreneurs closer to those markets by understanding how trade works to be able to facilitate that trade and the expansion of our bilateral relationship. Now in various contributions, the planets of uh, dis uh, discussant uh, gave for the highlights uh, challenging uh, of and challenges and those opportunities facing Nigerian businesses and global commerce. Science of Trade Conference is a very uh, good one for women entrepreneurs, youth entrepreneurs to learn about trade agreements and the power of trade agreements and what uh, it can do for businesses and trade. So I'm really excited to have been able to come and speak here, explain to them the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. I traced it from the EU, uh, from uh, NAFTA uh, in America, and uh, particularly for what it seeks to achieve for Africa. Uh, Africa as a the continent has the lowest level of intercontinental trade. Uh, in the world and this agreement will change that so the opportunities are now about the science of trade is really about bringing together stakeholders in the trade and investment space here in nigeria to address the issues that are prevalent to african and of course particularly nigerian entrepreneurs who are finding it difficult to trade as we know trade within africa is like between 15 and 17 percent compared to other you know regions of the world that are trading between themselves up to 80 percent how do we get that number up well you have to enable your micro small business enterprises it's as simple as that in order to enable them the conversation cannot end on the table we have to figure out how do we now move from discussion to implementation after implementation, we measure and adjust because we all know that the AFCFTA is underway. We haven't yet optimized it in Nigeria, but that's because there are many issues. Like today, we discussed them, you know, logistics. How do we have a seamless trade facilitation? And it's a journey. I think that's one of the things that I'm realizing that whether on the um, entrepreneur's side 
or even the agency side is that trade facilitation to create an enabling environment for it we will need to um i would say have a lot of patience if you're able to trade across borders that shows that the there will be improvement in the quality of what we are even trading locally before because before you can trade across border you have to be operating at a certain level so i see this conference as helping particularly people involved in agri agri food industry in upscaling their activities in improving their production in improving their processing so that they, they, they be more marketable not only in nigeria but also in uh, 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 across the world to unbundle the complexity the disruptions the challenges that is, is in the trading ecosystem so that people can trade people can now find it easy to trade people can gain information to what they need to trade so it's a it's a wonderful program and um, from the turnout you can see that uh, there's a lot of uh, knowledge gap and uh, people are coming to seek knowledge and this is a place that i know that they can get that kind of knowledge for them to understand the technicalities in export business. Like I made them to understand that uh, there's no Nigerian way of doing uh, export business because there are technicalities, there are rules, there are standard compliances, and there are quality requirements for them to, you know, to abide with what they can do business. And that brings us to what we call the export readiness assessment, uh, assessment of exporters, is to ensure that the readiness and preparedness of exporters are determined, you know, before they can uh, go into the export businesses. You know, we look at the EU of uh, procurement, how do they procure their products to ensure we have what we call traceability. Because when there are products, products with products, you know, it's very, very important that we product what we call traceability. To go to the, to, to, to the farm gates or for the production area to look at the problems of those products for us to be able to put in place some corrective actions for those, for those products. We also look at the EU of uh, certification. This is very, very important, you know, for exporters because that's the only way your product can be very, very competitive. That's the only way that your product will be able to assess markets. You know, when you have certification like the HACPP, ISO, one, you get premium for your products. And two, the buyers, you know, they'll be, they, they, they be sure of what they are getting. You know, before now in Nigeria, you know, people just buy products without looking at that, that, that uh, certification. But these days now, before you consume any products, you look at the uh, at, at the labeling, you want to be sure if it has that certification. That is how it is worldwide. Because of consciousness for consumption, people are, because of NTUs, you know, people are very, very aware and conscious of what they take in. So the certification is very, very important and paramount.